guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a grid effect in Vegas Pro 15. Now this is actually a requested tutorial, someone actually asked me on my Twitter DMs to do this, and it's inspired by Linkin Park song Talking To Myself, the music video. Of course I won't play it for copyright reasons, but you can see the way the video is laid out, and it's like that throughout the entire video, it changes different styles. So here we go, for example, uh, the first two seconds, it's like this, just two scenes. The second that they switch it like this, then uh, switch it like this, and then they switch it like this. And I will try to cover as many as I can in this video, but the way I'm going to be showing you is should be pretty self-explanatory by the time I'm done. You'll be able to create it however you want to. So the first one I'm going to be showing you is where there's one video a quarter of the screen and then the rest is taken up by another video. So right click, insert a video track, have one track above. Uh, you can decide which track is going to be the one that's going to have uh, most of the video. So I'm going to have this top track here and we're going to come to the event pan and crop. There's two ways you can do this. You can mask out the section you would like to keep and the section you don't want to keep, or you can come to position, make sure it is just on the move in X only, and then drag it in the direction you want to. Now you can see, just like that, we're already getting the effect. Now it's not done because we don't have that line that's going to be in between as well. So we're going to do that as well. So I'm going to keep mine just here and I'm going to X out of it. Now I'm going to hide at this track because I now want to focus on this track. And this track is pretty boring. There's nothing that I specifically want to keep. So in that case, I will be unhiding this track so I can see it. All I'm going to do is go to the pan and crop on this bottom track and I'm going to move it to the left. Now you'll see as I move it to the left, as I keep moving it to the left, now this line has appeared. So if I keep coming in, we now have this black line right there separating the videos and of course they're both going to be playing. So I will play it through. You can see they're both playing at the same time. So I'll play it through and you can see both videos are going to be playing at the same time. Now in Linkin Park's video they used a white line. Now although it may not matter to some, you might be wondering how do you get the white line because black is going to come up by default. It's really simple and you can have any color you'd like. So go to media generators come all the way down and go to solid color. Pick any color you like. Now, of course, Linkin Park used white. I will use white. I'm going to drag and drop this underneath the video. And you can see just like that, that has now changed to white. Very, very simple. That is completed. We've just created the first one like that. So of course, me showing you that way, of course, you'll know how to do it when this section is flipped on that side and this section is going to be on that side. It'll be the exact same steps. Next one I'll be showing you is this section here. So it's three sections, one square and two rectangles. So I'm going to bring in another video for this. I'm going to right click insert a video track and bring this above. And I also need to reset all the pan and crops on this. So here we go. Pretty simple again. So I have three videos this time. The top video is the one that's going to be in the center. So I'm going to get that out of the way now. All I'm going to do is come over to the pan and crop. This time, just have size about center checked and simply drag in from the cent from the side. Now, just like that, your video is going to go square. And there we go. Now, what you're seeing on the sides currently is just that video below. We can't see the other video. So uh, this second track, we come to the pan and crop. Now, this time I'll show you the other way. I actually want to keep this building in shot. Uh, so I'm going to come to the mask and I'm going to have the rectangle selection tool on and I'm simply just going to draw out the rectangle of this building just like that. Now, yes, it's quite big and we might not be able to fit all of it and you'll see what I mean. So from here, you can either use the pan and crop to position it. In some cases, this may not work. If that is the case, then you can use track motion. So I'm going to use the pan and crop right here. There we go. And of course we want that line again. So I'm going to leave that slight gap here. And now what we do is do the exact same thing, but to the other track and on the other side. Now, again, this is the boring one where there's nothing particularly interesting. So I'm just going to slide that off to the side. 
and here we go uh, be pretty accurate use the arrows on your keyboard this one is now complete so playing it through both all playing at the same time I am sorry for the lag I don't know what the hell is wrong don't buy MSI um, anyway you sort of get the idea so uh, of course they also have the sides grayed out that's really simple just video effects and then head over to black and white here we go black and white drag it onto them two tracks which are the middle and the uh, bottom one just like that they are black and white the video in the middle is in color so this is the next one I am going to be showing you uh, so one main video and two little videos in the corner so back to Vegas we go I'm just gonna go ahead and reset everything so everything has been reset now I'm gonna follow the same format this top video is gonna be the main video and I'm gonna start with that straight away this time pan and crop and this time we will be actually masking so I'm gonna come to the masking tool and I'm just gonna accurately or guess down the middle it looks pretty accurate to me that part is done we can X out a bit that's the top one next is this track um, so pan and crop now what you can do is zoom out have luck aspect ratio checked and simply drag this out now you can see that is got to the corner automatically now we can also use the pan and crop just to come across a little bit more and that will create that line separation in the middle so then we go and do the opposite to the other video this time except from dragging from the bottom right corner we're going to be dragging from the top right corner so simply just drag it out like this again you can choose to do the masking if you want to but I'm going to do it this way um, but you're completely free to do how you want to so we've made that line in the middle we've made where the videos are now we just need to make a line in between the two side videos so uh, we need to move one of them down a bit just like that it is done so three videos completed we have the white bar here and here we have two little videos and one main video so playing it through I don't know why it is lagging today it is terrible once again don't buy MSI uh, let me try draft and auto yeah it's not playing but you get the idea that's how you do that now I'm going to be showing you one more this one actually requires four videos and the one I'm going to be showing you is this part right here so one square one rectangle one square one rectangle so it looks quite easy but out of all of them this will probably take the longest to complete so I am going to get another clip uh, I'll actually get this clip here there we go and here we go so four clips are together and I need to reset the masks on the others so the first one of course is a square so there's two ways you can either use the position and just do what we done last time or you can use the masking this time I'm going to be working with the masking no per, per specific reason it's just I just want to show you the other way but you choose how you want to do it so I'm going to hold shift and draw out a square holding shift keeps everything in proportion there we go that's how I want it just off the building here now I'm gonna X out of it and I'm gonna position this with the pattern crop so position uh, I'm gonna use that button and I'm gonna position it to the top left there we go that's in position it looks pretty small to me so like I said I'm gonna change it I'm gonna just gonna bring it out a bit more like this and I'm gonna stretch it out like here so that's what we've got for one square done now to save time I'm actually just gonna copy what we've done on this one onto the other video and then reposition it so to do that right click select copy and then choose your next video and then right click and select paste event attributes so that's actually hidden behind this if I hide this track you can see that's already in that same position so what I'm going to be doing is using the pan and crop and I'm going to position this into that bottom left corner so onto position I'm going to drag it down just like that and when I'm going to come back to the other one and put this down as well so then we can have that separation so onto position there we go you can see the gap is right there and the next 
two. Uh, these ones will be a bit quicker. The reason for that is because we basically have our layout sorted. So we come to the pattern crop on the next track and we simply get the mask. And all we need to do is draw out a rectangle. So why this one is easier, because like I said, we already have our square. So we all need to do is drag this down. There we go. And just drag it across. That's one part done. I'm also going to bring this in so then we can get that separation already. There we go. X out of this. I'm going to, again, just the same time, I'm going to right click, copy, uh, right click and paste it onto the next one. Of course, when you do this, make sure you do pick specific parts you want, otherwise it'll be a waste of time. So that's done. Um, this part, I'll keep it as it is. I'm going to come to position and all I need to do is bring this up. So then this gets into position as well. Now what we're doing with this is lining up the top of the video with the top of the square. Now I set this to draft and auto and it's making it super hard. So I'll set it to best and full. There we go. Much more better. There we go. Just like that. That is in position. Uh, the bars are probably bigger than the one in Linkin Park's video, but you get the idea of how to create it anyway. We have video on the top left, video on the bottom left, video top right, video bottom right. Now, I doubt it's going to play, but, oh, it's actually, okay, spoke too soon. Um, you saw a bit of movement anyway, you see that it does work. Uh, all videos will be playing at the same time. Now, of course, the top left in the Linkin Park video was grey, along with the bottom right video was grey as well. So, again, just add on the black and white filters, really simple. There we go, now it's on the right one. And then these two were in blue, um, but you'll see... They were, that was actually one video. And the way it looks, it looks like that was the lighting where he was at, maybe the stage lighting. But if you did want to change the color, um, you can always use color corrector. So let's add some, let's add some reds because it will be pretty obvious to see onto the top right and the bottom left. So dragging onto the red midtones, I'm going to make it more vibrant of a red, just like this. And of course, also to the top right clip. Again, make it more vibrant with a red. And just like that, that is how you create it. We've got the black and white, and we have the red, and of course you don't have to pick red. And once again, to mention the bars, the white bars, you don't have to have white, you can always select generated media. From here it says color, select any color you would like. So for example, I'll just go for a yellow, and just like that, it has changed to a yellow. But that is how you create a grid effect in Vegas Pro 15. You are now about to witness the strength of kids' knowledge. F*** off, you f***ing lagging piece of shit.